I'm never going to retire until they carry me away, as I say, in a box. This is, this is part of the psychological warfare. Ju äldre man är, desto viktigare är de. För John Barrington, 42 år, sex gånger världsmästare, har det alltid varit ett måste. Men squash är inte bara fysiskt hårt. Squash mentally a, a hard game. <laughs> well, you look at me. <laughs> you know, I'm only 22 years old. <laughs> um, it's pretty destructive. Yes, it's. I've always called. I called it originally. A lot of people have sort of taken it up and applied it to other sports. Uh, a form of uh, physical chess, and there's there's no doubt about it that uh, the the mental demands are. Are tremendous and were more so for me because I probably didn't have as much natural overt ability as my main rivals which meant that I had to conform very rigidly to a pattern a tactical pattern a technical pattern uh, which demanded more of me mentally than it would of the others so I used to ensure that I was unbelievably well prepared physically and still work to prepare physically because I know that I'm not only going to have to do a lot of physical work but I know that the mental test is going to be tremendous too. Bollen får stötsa i alla fyra väggarna men den måste stötsa en gång i väggen framför spelarna innan motståndaren slår till den. För att så snabbt som möjligt nå in i hörnorna bör utgångspunkten vara i mitten och några meter framför den bakre kortväggen. Bollen får tas utan stöds i golvet. But play, playing the game you have to, to think quite distance ahead in your game. Yeah, you're always preparing ahead and there are obviously set patterns. I mean, if I were to say that I'm six moves ahead, I think that would be, uh, uh, to say the least, very untrue. But you do think ahead, you drive your opponent into a corner, you know what his options are, you know what his pattern of play is, so you can actually narrow him down almost to the one set stroke, and you know where that's basically going to come, so you're anticipating where it's going, and you know essentially where possibly you're going to put the next stroke. But the thing about squash is there are so many possibilities and there are countless and endless variations and that's what makes it very exciting to play. Pakistan är idag världens bästa squashnation. Enligt John Barrington har pakistanerna de rätta genetiska förutsättningarna. Nationen har en uppsjö av ungdomar i sitt urval. Men det räcker inte att ha massor av fysiska företräder. Inställningen måste också vara den rätta. I västvärlden saknas den långa trappstegen som börjar med att bära storebrors väska och som slutar med drömmen om att försörja sig på skorsporten som elitspelare. When you watch um, young junior players, you can say if they are going to be top players or not. What do you what what do you look at? Well, you're looking for a great spirit. You're looking for, uh, in English, there's a word in my part of the world, in England, where they talk about somebody having a lot of bottle, you know, which means that you've got the capacity to fight on when you're facing a crisis, you know, when things are going against you. You're prepared to fight and not give in. Many, many people are very good when they're in front. They look irresistible when they're in front. Everything's going well. The test is when you're actually with your back to the wall and how you react. And, you can see it in youngsters at a very early age whether there is going to be the capacity to to actually be effective under those kind of conditions. 1977 hade John Barrington hand om det svenska landslaget. Då trodde han att Sverige skulle dominera skorsporten i Europa idag. Men utvecklingen har stagnerat. Visserligen vann Sverige Europamästerskapen 1980 då England genomgick en generationsväxling. Nu är det Sveriges tur.
Om några år kanske vi är jämsides med England och om ytterligare några, ja vem vet. Det finns idag många bra juniorer. In Sweden there was a great motivating factor that was driving uh, the players up from a very young age to, to become the best. And I believe that uh, that is something now that must be regenerated uh, because it's fallen away, it's, it's gone adrift. Some players have left the country, that can always happen at the same time. There has to be uh, a much more practical, highly developed junior scheme and this is this is unfortunately for Sweden what we've been doing in England. We have at last got off our backsides and have a really good junior scheme going. You know, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, and under 10 national squad, which I run, under 12. And that is uh, the sort of system that you want to, to develop here and in order to make yourself as high-powered a nation as I felt you would become in squash, as I say, six or seven years ago. Får vi passa på att göra reklam för en hel del förhoppningsvis fin idrott i hem?